Hello, my name is James and today I want to show you the uh, setup I've got using uh, Kinkoni Smart Controller and Logic Controller. The uh, purpose of this video is just to provide examples of how the Kinkoni Smart Controller and Logic Controllers can be used for automatic control and security applications. Please note that this is a temporary setup just to illustrate a variety of inputs and outputs working with the Kinkoni system. Please excuse the wiring. Um, I know it's just it's just temporary and I know it's kind of sloppy but please disregard that. Um, this setup is to, was to help me learn and understand the system, learn and understand the sensors and, and how to set them up and also to test the reliability of the um, Kinkoni system and so far I've had this set up for about nine months. I check some inputs and outputs every day. The system's been online 100% during that nine months. I've had no downtime of the Kinkoni units. I've had some downtime of my laptop which has the software but um, that's a separate issue these these units have been uh, very very reliable okay so I'm please report that now here we've got the uh, KC868 call B the smart controller and it takes the um, inputs okay so I've got inputs I've got it marked for inputs so I don't get them confused it takes analog inputs 16 analog inputs 16 digital inputs and then using the smartphone or using IFTT commands we can send uh, instructions to the uh, it will send instructions to the relay controller this is the KC868-32L so we can send outputs to 32 different devices valves, lights, switches, um, blowers, fans, pumps, whatever you have set up the control okay all right so now let's go to some some of the inputs first items I've got here are just simple digital inputs just on off like these could be used for example to confirm that maybe a door is closed or a gate is closed um, and I'm going to activate those and you can see Zoom in on that a little bit. Okay. So these are the uh, 16 digital inputs. Okay. And so now I'm going to trip the first item. You can hear it. Click. Boom. Very responsive. Second one. Okay, now the next item I've got, I've got two um, motion sensors. One is hardwired, this is a hardwired motion sensor. I've got a glass over it so it doesn't trip. And then this one is a wireless motion sensor. Both of them are wired through a, a special relay. It's what I call a set reset relay, it's like a latching relay. So once motion is detected it will it will turn on the uh, digital input and it will stay on until I reset it so I'm gonna go back to our screen so let's look at the next item okay here we've got it and it's gonna stay on until I reset it okay this is the second one Okay, there we go. All right. 
So, I'm going to cover those back up. And now, using the smartphone, I've got an output here. It says reset motion sensors. So I hit and they're cleared. Okay, so after I've confirmed which alarm was tripped, then I can reset. Okay, next item I've got are some um, move back a little bit. These are just some IR beams. So these IR beams are great for a perimeter, for monitoring the perimeter of a home or a business. And these are dual beam with a 100 meter range. And I'm going to cover the receiver and you can see what happens. One of those is set up in a latch mode, the other will um, turn off once I once the beams reestablished. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so that's tripped and cleared and tripped again. Okay, and the second one is latched, so that's going to stay tripped until I reset it, reset IR beams, and it's cleared. Okay, next item I want to show you is a very simple, a very simple leak detector. There's just two, uh, just the input, just one digital input, the two leads. I'm going to pour some, I'm going to pour some water into that. And you can see what happens when I do that. So here we go, pour some water in, boom, so makes a circuit, turns on a digital input. Okay, and now we go back to that, I'll take that, pour that out, and there you go. It's gone. Okay, so now I'm going to show some of the um, the standard uh, DS1850 um, B20 uh, temperature sensors. I've got three of those hooked up. One, two, three. Okay. And zoom in on those. So the system can handle five of those um, and they're wired directly into the uh, into the unit. These are very inexpensive, reliable, pretty accurate and you can see the readings there. It's pretty warm. Um, let me zoom that in a little more and I'm going to Hold one and, and warm it up a little, a little more. So here we go. So they're all showing about 27, 28, 29. Now this one's up 31, 32. Okay, I'm just holding it in my hand. Okay, so um, so the system can can handle five of those. Those are great because they're really inexpensive, just a few dollars each. Uh, but if you need more temperature measurement, then you can use an RTD and one of these PT100 temperature transmitters and use that as a regular analog input and that will show up right here and you can, the system can have 16 analog inputs so that's just one okay you see that temperature matches these temperatures okay next item i've got 
I've got just a carbon dioxide sensor right here so we can measure carbon dioxide. These are often used to control makeup air, fresh air to a home or living room or bedroom or business. So when the carbon dioxide level increases that can be used to turn on a fresh air blower. And that's set up right here. That's just another analog input. Okay. So those are just some examples of the inputs. Now I want to show some examples of outputs. And of course the simplest thing um, is the use of you know using the the uh, K box using the K box app you can turn on lights or valves or uh, motors okay so here I'm just going to show some examples I'll just turn that light on turn that light on you can see those can you see those yes um, you can turn that light on that light on and the blue light on boom 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 okay turn alarm light on turn it off okay alarm light off okay turn these other lights off okay so all right, so that's a simple on-off, and those, those, uh, the system has very nice and easy to use IFTT command routine. So, if, uh, for example, if a temperature rises, you can turn on a switch, which turns on a, turns on a blower, or if you have motion detected, you can turn on exterior lights, that kind of thing. Um, now, I'm going to show how I use it for. Um, controlling. If you have existing lights, you can set up, um, for example, here, here I have a light switch that replaces um, that replaces a wall switch. So I can use this to turn on a light on, off, on, off. Okay. Now, in addition to that, I can use this light. This is a, an RF, 433 megahertz light. That This RF sends a signal to that wall switch, so I can turn it on, or off, turn the light on and off from there. Okay, and thirdly, I've got that RF switch. I've got a digital output from the uh, relay controller going to that um, that RF switch. So, if I want to turn that light on from Kinkoni, I can do that. So I have to find that light, light switch. So here, a light switch. Boom. So the again the uh, the logic controller can use IFTT commands to turn that light on or any light on. That could be an exterior light or an interior light. If motion's detected or an IR beam is broken. Okay. Okay, now let me show you some more examples of some outputs. Okay. Here, here I'm controlling um, a valve actuator. So this actuator would open or close a valve, such as a wake-up, makeup water valve, or maybe the supply water valve to your 
to a unit and you want to shut it off. Okay, so I send an output to this unit. Actually, we use two relays one basically to open, one to close, to reverse, two relays to reverse the polarity. So I'm going to come down here to um, find that. Okay, so valve right here. And I'm going to turn, I'm going to open that valve. And now, close that valve. Same setup for a linear actuator that could be used to close a lock or close a window or so Okay. And reverse. So Using just one digital output, I can close or open, close or open the valve, close or open the uh, linear actuator. And this is just switching the plus and minus. Okay. So, let's see if I have anything else. So those are just the examples. Um, I think that my, my intention here was to just illustrate how the system can be used. It, it's been fun working with it. It's relatively easy because I'm, I had very, very little prior experience with any of this stuff. And the Kinkoni technical support have been outstanding they've been really helpful and patient and provided a lot of good uh, insight um, I hope you find this helpful if you have any questions um, please let me know down below um, I, and I wish you the best and um, good luck thank you